Shalom. I am Rabbi Nathan Davidovich, speaking to you on behalf of the webyeshiva.org, speaking to you from Ephrat, Israel. This Shabbos, we have, in addition to the regular Torah reading, in this case, there are, there are two parshot, ending the book of Shemot, uh, Parsha of Ayakel and Pekude. But we also have a special Parsha, uh, the fourth of the special Parshot that we read, uh, the Shabbosim before, uh, first before Purim and now before Pesach. So this Parsha, I'm going to talk about Parsha of Ayakel and Hachodesh, those two special, special things and the connection between them. And from both of these parshot, we learn uh, a message of unity of the Jewish people and a message of renewal, a message of our ability to renew. The portion of Vayakhel was given just after uh, Yom Kippur, after Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses went up after seeing the golden calf and came down with the new set of, of, of Luchot, of, of the, the stones on which were inscribed the words of the Torah and let people know that God was forgiving them. The message that he tried to impart and that he did impart is he recognized that people would be wondering how in the world could they keep from falling prey to the negativity around them and within themselves? How could they avoid doing uh, something as, as contrary to, to God's will as making a golden calf? And he pointed out that the first thing we do is Vayakhel. Vayakhel, he gathered everybody together. And then, in this, a few sentences later, says the Torah starts, Vayakhel Moshe called Das Bani Yisrael. Uh, Moshe gathered all the people uh, of the children of Israel, Vayomer Lemor Aleim, and saying to them, Eila Advorim Asher Tzivu Hashem Lasos Osam. These are the things that God has told you to do, commanded you that you should do them. And then he talks about two specific commandments. The commandment of Shabbos, of keeping Shabbos, not working on Shabbos, and the commandment of building the Mishkan, building the holy tabernacle. The renewal opportunity that was given to the Jewish people depended on their unity. And Moshe was giving them a message that. By keeping the Torah, by keeping Shabbos, and by keeping the mitzvos, you'll be able to avoid the negativity. Parsha Chodesh begins with the words Chodesh Hazer Lachem. This month shall be to you Rosh Chadashim, the beginning of all months, the head of all months. Should be the first of all the months of the year. This is the first commandment that was given in the Torah to the Jewish people. In fact, you will recall that at the very beginning, the very first sentence of the Torah, Rashi asks, you know, why? Doesn't the Torah begin with the first commandment given to the Jewish people, which is Hachodesh Hazelochem? And he gives an answer there uh, that Hashem wanted to let the world know who created the world, who was in charge of the world, who gave the land of Israel, Eretz Yisrael, to the Jewish people, who had the right to do that. And then later on, we get to the first commandment. Hachodesh Hazer is a commandment 
that was given in the land of Egypt, was given in Mitzrayim. That's a strange place. Remember that the in Mitzrayim, the Jewish people had sunken so far in a level of depravity, not in not in immorality. They were completely moral people, even in Egypt, but they were depraved. They were they had sunken low in their ability to recognize that whatever they had came from God. They thought that whatever that was given to them was given to them. God had nothing to do with it. So they had sunk into this lowest, lowest level and God had to bring them out. So even in the lowest level, God appeared to them and gave this message of being able to renew yourself. The month of Nisan is about Hidhadshut. It's about renewal. Nisan leads to Pesach, which is another two weeks from Saturday night. One of the important mitzvahs that we talk about on Pesach, you have to stay away from leaven products. You have to have the Dikat Chumetz. Uh, Thursday night before Pesach, we search our houses for any leavened bread, any, any trace of leavening, make sure it's out of our house by the time Pesach begins. So on the one, one hand, Chumetz refers to leavened products. But on the other hand, Chumetz refers to the Chumetz within you refers to the negative influences that are within within us, that surround us, that we are tempted to give into. Those are the things we have to look for. Those are things we have to look for, search for that chumetz and destroy, destroy that chumetz, destroy these, these negative impulses, negative desires that are contrary to the will of God. This Parsha begins the month of renewal. God is telling us that no matter how far we have sunken into whatever despair, whatever negativity uh, we have fallen, God will pull us out of there if we want to. God tells us that we have the ability with God's help to reach a level of holiness. The, it is said that if you want to reach a level of holiness, you cannot do this on your own because it's too high a level that you have to reach. But what you can do is you can start. You have to do your hishtadlut. You have to work on it, put your effort into it, and then God will reward you with a present to take you the rest of the way. So this is what Pesach tells us. This is what Parsha Nachodesh tells us. We can renew. No matter what we have done, God is waiting for us with open hands to come back. But only if we do so in unity. And that's Parsha Vayakhel. The unity of the people. And the combination of Shabbos and the Mishka. The Mishka is the tabernacle. We remember that God said to us, Build a Mishkan, build a tabernacle so that I will dwell within you. Within each and every one of us, we have our own individual tabernacle. And when we come to Shabbos, now that the base of Ignis is destroyed, we no longer have the tabernacle, we no longer have the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, Shabbos takes its place. So Shabbos is the unifying factor. Shabbos exists for every Jew, whether or not they observe it or how they observe it, it's there. It's like the air you breathe. It's a bubble. That's a, a message of unity and of holiness. And on Shabbos, we have the opportunity to renew ourselves. Before Shabbos, we have to do a cheshbo nefesh. Think about what things we have done wrong during the week. And then do tshuva for them. Say you're sorry for them. And resolve not to do them again. That brings you to a Shabbos of total renewal, total of unity, and total
holiness. I wish everybody a wonderful Shabbat. And as we get ready for Pesach, I wish everybody a, a holiday of true freedom, where we have the freedom of choosing to better ourselves. Thank you on behalf of the Web Yeshiva. I wish everybody all the best. Shabbat Shalom.